Now turning to the coast, an incredible discovery in the Mediterranean Sea just outside of Tel Aviv. A nursery for deepwater sharks, possibly one of the oldest and largest in the region, including hundreds of deepwater shark specimens and thousands of their eggs. And researchers are calling the find one of the most significant discoveries of marine habitats in Israel's history, adding that it could have enormous implications for global marine research and climate change in particular. But with me now to explain is Professor Berta Levavi Sivan from the Hebrew University's Faculty of Agriculture, Food, and the Environment. Professor, thank you so much for being with us. Now, what can you tell us about this discovery, this nursery uh, that I didn't already just cover? Well, first, this is amazing. It was it never happened before, and nobody so not not speaking about hundreds of thousands of sharks in Israel, uh, in the shore of Israel, but not even uh, several sharks, especially eggs and especially such young sharks. Uh, so this is amazing in every thing that in every aspect that you can think about. Uh, only that uh, when you think about it more deeply, uh, I'm not sure this is such a good sign. Uh, generally, the sea is one of the planet's uh, more sensitive areas, especially the Mediterranean, which is um, has a very special habitat and has uh, many other problems as well. And we are, since we, Israel is situated at the very east eastern part, um, and usually there are not so many fish and not so many uh, live things in the eastern Mediterranean. Uh, uh, biological uh, med uh, biological um, uh, experts call it uh, an ocean desert. So to see uh, thousands of sharks in an ocean desert, it's really, really uh, strange. Mm -hmm. And the sad thing is this, uh, that this discovery uh, shed some light on climate change, and this is just one of so many things that we saw uh, in the several um, even weeks or months or years uh, that has that emerged from the climate change. Well, so so if we're talking about again, this is arguably one of the largest and the oldest deep water shark nurseries that we have found uh, in this entire region. How old are we talking? And and I mean like decades, longer? I think it's decades, more or less. Yeah, no longer than that. So is that, is that uh, challenging? Which goes, it, which goes together with the climate change, which is also mm -hmm. a very profound in the last decades. So is this showing us, you know, what, what about climate change can we learn from this nursery? Is it that the location of such nurseries are, are maybe shifting or the behavior of the sharks is shifting in climate change or, or did we maybe just not see this a nursery somehow for uh, years and years? Okay, so we don't know exactly what does it mean. Mm -hmm. It means that are, there are changes, and the changes are causing all sorts of things. Maybe this is a good one. Maybe this is a, a one that we, we can share, that we can see things that we couldn't see before and we're happy about. But this is definitely one of the other changes which are not that nice on our list. And this is, uh, this is the problem. It was found by, uh, uh, by uh, researchers from the Haifa University, from the Leon mm -hmm. Cherny School, uh, from uh, IOLR uh, in uh, Haifa and Ben Gurion University in the Negev, and uh, the Inter-University Institute of the Marine Research which also belongs to, uh, to the Hebrew University uh, altogether. Uh, of course, it, those, those photos mm -hmm. are amazing, and it's very nice to see them in Tel Aviv. As you said before, we should have gone to the Bahamas before to see such a thing. Sure. Uh, but beside that, there is nothing to be happy about. Oy. All right, well, incredible sights either way. Maybe dangerous uh, omens that come with them, but still really incredible. Professor, thank you so much for being with us. Most welcome.